Welcome back to week four, unit five of this Open SAP course. My name is Gilbert Wong. You may remember me from week two, unit one, where I cover the changes in the system landscape for S4HANA. In this unit, we will take a look at the impact on BW integration, HANA Live, and embedded analytics as it relates to SAP S4HANA. Let's start with slide one. Before a transition to SAP S4HANA can be complete, customers that have a connected BW system will need to undertake a number of checks to confirm business con continu continuity uh, post the SAP uh, S4HANA conversion. S4HANA changes the dynamics of an environment containing a connected BW systems. This slide highlights a few checks to be aware of ahead of a migration conversion to SAP S4HANA where a connected BW solution exists. While most data sources and extractors uh, supported for a connected ECC, ECC system are also supported and will work pretty much the same, there are a, a number of data sources which won't. Customers migrating to S4HANA will need to keep a close watch on SAP note 2500202. -202. This note will discuss details uh, with, for those extractors that have changed or are no longer supported. The note contains a attached spreadsheet with uh, details of the statuses of each and every business uh, content data source. This, need, this list needs to be compared with the currently used uh, data sources to establish the impact. For those data sources in use which are no longer supported or, or are impacted in some way, you will need to come up with a reme remediation plan. A plan will need to be in place to address how each and every impacted data source will be handled, remediated, and tested. Although many subject areas are not impacted, plant maintenance is of special note uh, for uh, an area of high impact. For remediation project, the re remediation process will vary from customer to customer. However, for some extractors that are critical and require moving forward, a degree of re remediation and workaround effort uh, is needed to be uh, taken. SAP S4 HANA will also uh, will impact upon many uh, business processes as well, even for uh, conversions, and an impact will occur. Therefore, understanding the, the path across which all subjects will be uh, critical in determining how much uh, and each impact will result in some uh, BW remediation work. Although uh, S4 uh, HANA conversions are likely to have lesser impact, Greenfield implementations where an existing BW system in place is likely to trigger a high impact. Greenfield implementations will likely change processes, change numbering, change organi organizational structures, change process flow, or even simplifying processes uh, will have a, a potential impact on BW data flows. Therefore, understanding the impact and remediation steps will be required ahead of a S4 HANA deployment. The data extracted out from a BW system may also be impacted by both changes in extractors and business practice processes. Take the time to understand the extraction requirements from BW and analyze the impacts. In summary, um, there are a number of checks that will be required. Um, first, extractor support, extractor remediation plan, business process changes, uh, downstream systems, and extracts from BW. Now let's go to the next slide. Um, so with the introduction of uh, S4 HANA, we'll uh, bring uh, significant opportunities to reevaluate how you deliver reporting and analytics. The uh, current BW solution will likely change. Some reports uh, currently sourced from BW may no longer be required required uh, or required changes or will will be delivered from uh, you know S4 HANA directly. The SAP S4 HANA project will consume uh, resources as well. So key project management decisions will be um, you know how much time should be invested in the uh, decommissioning of this existing reports. There are a number of um, embedded analytic options with uh, standard reports, tiles, overview pages, 
and all offering opportunities provide reporting directly from your S4 HANA system. Which BW reports can you switch on in flavor of embedded analytics? So you'll need to review that. Of the extractions uh, currently in place, uh, replicating data into BW, how many uh, and which ones are no longer required? And the uh, reporting requirements uh, can be sourced directly from S4 HANA reporting. There are uh, you know, data, service, uh, data sources that can be turned off based off this and decommissioned. Uh, and the, the, you know, the data flow in BW can be uh, decommissioned. Many uh, SAP customers have deployed solutions specifically uh, addressing real-time reporting. Uh, many of these may no longer be required as reporting directly from S4 HANA offers many standard options. The current real-time solution should be analyzed for their opportunity to, to be turned off in favor of embedded analytics. The execution of reports is one thing, however, launching the reports is another. Uh, you know, where will the uh, users go to run the reports? So with the introduction of the Fury Launchpad, this offers an opportunity to reconsider uh, where the actual reports are launching from. So many of the uh, SAP uh, customers will leverage BW for their uh, production of monthly uh, financial statements um, and have a uh, process in place uh, for production. Embedded analytics uh, changes uh, in processes, changes in organizational structure, impacts to extractors will all have an impact on where and how financial statements will be produced. In some cases, uh, this may not change, however, there are other uh, you know, requirements to, to rethink uh, the process. So in summary, um, a number of considerations will need to be th thought through. How much effort uh, will you spend de decommissioning reports? Where and how will embedded analytics take over from BW reporting? How will you deliver real-time reports given the uh, embedded analytics options? And where will uh, financial statements be pr uh, produced? So next slide, uh, we'll cover SAP HANA Live. So what is SAP HANA Live? So HANA Live was used in our SAP Business Suite and Suite on HANA customers, which provided uh, real-time operational reporting directly uh, from HANA without any redundancies or latency. HANA Live um, could also be used as a sidecar scenario uh, next to your existing uh, SAP Business Suite uh, deployment on NEDB. Uh, SAP HANA Live uh, provides uh, SAP delivered content, which is which was directly uh, deployed uh, in your your SAP HANA uh, system. Um, it was uh, delivered in forms of calculation views for real time operational reporting. The uh, content uh, was represented as a virtual data model, which was based off the transactional and master data tables of your business suite system. In um, SAP S4 HANA, uh, you know, the data models and database uh, tables have changed in uh, many areas. Um, so a strategic decision was taken to switch uh, the technology from calculation views to CDS views with SAP S4 HANA. So if uh, HANA views uh, or HANA live views were used, um, you know, time and resources uh, should be planned for migrations to the new CDS views you can refer to SAP note 224-2330. Um, you know, calculation views uh, will, will work uh, in HANA and S4 HANA system. And um, HANA live based on new data models for S4 HANA is provided only for finance area. Um, also, uh, existing HANA calculation uh, models included in HANA live would also need to be adjusted so that the data model uh, to the data model changes in S4 HANA. So some uh, benefits uh, included with the uh, changes uh, to CDS view. Um, so now, you know, no direct uh, database access required to retrieve data, data from HANA database. Uh, you're no longer uh, need, it, need to maintain users uh, directly in HANA. Um, HANA live content is no longer uh, required to be deployed directly into the HANA database. 
All right, um, next slide. Um, so let's cover S4 HANA embedded analytics in more detail. So embedded analytics is basically a set of uh, analytic features integrated in SAP S4 HANA that enables users to perform real-time analytics on live transactional data. It comes with a set of inbuilt in representations of operational data called virtual data models, which is based off the transactional and master data uh, tables of the SAP S4 HANA system. Core data services uh, are developed uh, and maintained and extended in the ABAP layer of the uh, S4 HANA system. For embedded analytics to work, um, a local BW instance will uh, need to be uh, activated and configured. Uh, we strongly recommend not to use the embedded uh, BW uh, for your uh, EW, uh, your enterprise data warehouse use cases. And the amount of data persisted should not exceed 20% uh, of the overall data volume of the system. It does not require a separate uh, installation or implementation or any other license. It is part of your S4 HANA solution and uh, generally available with your new S4 HANA release. Customers um, will also have the ability to extend existing uh, CDS views uh, and build new ones. Um, standard Fiori applications and tools are also delivered for analysis, include uh, for d the various types of users. First, for the end users, uh, the Fiori apps include query browser, multi-dimension reports, smart business KPI runtime, analytic of Fiori applications, overview page, analytic list page, and list reports. For key super users, we deliver apps uh, that can you know, customize some of these reports, uh, including the view browser, uh, custom CDS views, custom analytic queries, KPI design time apps, the APF configuration uh, modeler, and report uh, design modeler app. And finally, our developers will uh, have the option and tools uh, that will allow you to create your own custom CDS views. Some uh, additional benefits uh, with embedded analytics included um, no latency since uh, we're, we're retrieving the data directly from your S4 HANA system. We support uh, the ER or the S4 HANA authorizations. No data duplication required. Um, since we're going directly to the tables. Support for uh, ERP hierarchies, um, ready-to-use content. Um, it's also part of the general extensibility concept. And uh, integration scenarios with BW, so you can uh, extract directly from the, the views. No more HANA live uh, content to, to, do, to be deployed and you'll get a full ABAP lifecycle integration um, as well as no uh, separate DB users required uh, to be installed. Also note, uh, BPC for SAP S4 HANA is a planning application in SAP S4 HANA and internally it uses the uh, embedded BW functionality, but uh, this is not uh, included in the definition of embedded analytics but a uh, reporting function um, that is used for uh, business planning and consolidation. All right, next, um, let's discuss the virtual data model. So virtual data model is essentially a structured representation of CDS views and follows consistent modeling rules. Uh, VDMs were originally introduced uh, for HANA Live uh, for SAP Business Suite applications. It uh, provides direct access to SAP business data using uh, standard SQL and OData requests. Virtual um, data models uh, exposes the business data of an SAP system in a understandable, comprehensive, and executable model for consumers in uh, transactional applications, analytics, and external interfaces. All the uh, analytic tools uh, consume uh, CDS, uh, which makes up uh, the virtual data models of the S4 HANA system. Uh, virtual data model is a predefined template uh, with the business objects created with CDS views 
So rather than creating CDS views from scratch, uh, there is also room for streamlining development by using these VDMs. Okay, so next, I uh, want to cover uh, high-level few tools that are delivered through Fiori, used for analytics in your S4 HANA system. First, uh, we have the KPI app. Um, so this app uh, basically renders KPI aggregates with the relevant visualizations and navigations to uh, smart business uh, drill down applications. Um, in an embedded analytics scenario, this KPI tile uh, component can be embedded in other applications as well. It is uh, available with uh, several types of visualizations, uh, which the KPI tile uh, component um, can be uh, configured. You have numeric uh, deviation, trends, comparisons, and, and more. Um, it comes with a design time application where you can uh, configure the different uh, KPIs and uh, thresholds and evaluations, and a runtime report, uh, runtime application that will actually display the report for the end user. Then we have the uh, APF, the An Analysis Path Framework, which uh, is used for creating interactive chart-oriented analytical drill-down apps by configuration. APF uh, base applications uh, enable users uh, to view and analyze data of several uh, KPIs from uh, different data sources. Then we have the ALP, the analytical list page, uh, which offers a uh, unique way to analyze data step by step from a different perspective to investigate a, a root cause through drill down and to act on uh, transactional content. All this can be done seamlessly within one page. The uh, purpose of the uh, ALP is to identify interesting areas within uh, the database or data sets or uh, significant um, single instances using uh, data visualizations and uh, business intelligence. And next we have uh, overview page, uh, which is uh, data driven from uh, SAP Fury application types and floor plans that uh, de deliver uh, information to users' uh, needs in a single page uh, based off the uh, user specific uh, domain or role. Um, it allows users to uh, focus on the most important tasks uh, and views and filters and reacts uh, to uh, information quickly. So overview pages uh, basically contains a set of Fury cards which will um, display relevant information related to that function, business function. Uh, from there, you'll be able to drill down to other Fury applications or uh, retrieve uh, additional data or to um, complete a task. Then we have a uh, multi-dimension uh, analysis, which are uh, webbed in pull applications uh, where multi-dimension analytical operations are possible. So from this tool, you'll be, you'll be able to slice, uh, dice, and drill down into uh, different uh, uh, data elements. Then we have uh, UI5 analytic apps. Um, these are just uh, standard SAP UI5 applications for uh, reporting against uh, OData services. And finally, we have the Query Browser. Um, Query Browser is a, a Fury application uh, which allows you to quickly and easily search uh, and browse and tag analytic queries. Um, this application displays um, all the analytic queries to which a user has access to. So question, um, can or should uh, BW uh, reports be replaced uh, into an embedded analytics of an SAP S4 HANA system? So, uh, you know, in SAP S4 HANA, BW operational reporting should be shifted to SAP S4 HANA. Um, existing uh, operation reports in BW could be able, would be able to be replaced or decommissioned, and you'll be able to access uh, those embedded and embedded analytics directly uh, in your SAP uh, S4 HANA system. Um, strategic reports can continue to be provided uh, through your existing BW system. Um, example, you know, integration reports uh, between your S4 HANA and your other external and non-SAP systems can still be generated in your, um, your SAP BW environment.
So your existing BW system can still act as your enterprise data warehouse uh, while you can offload some of the uh, operational reporting back onto your S4 HANA system. So here um, we added uh, two additional slides or notes where you can refer to to help with your uh, requir reporting requirements. First note is 2579584, recommendations for financial reportings in S4 HANA. Um, SAP recommends a gradual switch to the new CDS-based reportings with uh, the Fury uh, user interface. Um, so report writer, report painter, drill down reporting, and the SAP GUI applications for the line items are still available in your S4 HANA system. Um, these reports are uh, still supported and have been technically ad adapted and optimized for the new architecture. Uh, for technical reasons, these uh, classic uh, reporting tools can only partially benefit from the new HANA capabilities. Therefore, uh, going forward, we recommend, um, you know, for new reports, use uh, CDS-based uh, reporting tools instead of using uh, the older report uh, painter or report writer tools. And finally, uh, SAP note 2349297, uh, reporting analytics and controlling. Um, so most existing reports uh, in report writer, Port Painter, uh, drill down reports, uh, ABAP list views uh, will continue to work using compatibility views, which will provide uh, access to fields available in the orig original report, but uh, will not provide any insight over and above uh, what was already uh, available in the, your uh, SAP ERP system. So for this, we recommend uh, to activate appropriate Fury applications and to test uh, with the end user. With this, uh, we come to the end of this unit. Um, in the next unit, my colleague Dirk will cover uh, guidelines for functional and technical testing. Thank you for your attention and enjoy the next unit. Goodbye.